What if I told you there was a vision? A vision of the future. And to get to that vision, you had to... How should we say? Envision it. So welcome to another video on Evolution Gaming. Yeah, I know, we're spicing things up. Yeah, it's been a lot of Overwatch League previews of teams, and now I get to actually talk about my own bloomin' teams. Anyway, you know, Illusion, I struggle to keep up with it, and I, I co-own the bloomin' thing. And there are so many teams. So when I first came to you guys about this, well, when I last came to you guys about this, there were, what, four teams? Something like that? And now there are 10? <laughs> and I'm about to tell you about at least another two. Oh lord. Yeah, so, first of all, let's go through this and let's go through the whole structure, right? So, we started off with Illusion X. Illusion X was a, technically a tier 2 team, but it was competing in a league that was tier 1 because the SR brackets were funny. And all console leagues, they work on SR brackets. They're very stringent about that sort of thing, whereas PC don't. It's much more fluid because of Open Division and things like that. And the most recent Experimental Cup, which Illusion did take part in, in, in some respects. In fact, Illusion Z Luna went up against the EU contenders team New Kings. That was... That was an experience. <laughs> that was an experience. Anyway, we'll get on to that in a minute. So, we have now three X teams. Three. And that's obviously up from just one. So we have a tier one X team, we have a tier two X team, and a tier three X team. The original X team is the tier two team. They are going into their second season of Firewall Esports League. It's the fourth season of that league, but it's the second season we've been in there. And then tier one have now just entered that league at their own level as well. Um, tier three will be are still looking for a league right now, but they are still kind of building their roster somewhat and getting used to things. And we don't like to rush teams into leagues. Uh, well, we try not to rush teams into leagues anyway, because that's kind of not going to give you the best results. You kind of want to build a team that has a lot of synergy. You don't want to just throw them into the, into the fire and say, hey, go do something. That's not the way things work. Anyway, then we talk about the M side of things. The M side of things is the PlayStation side of things. Again, it matches the Xbox side of things. Illusion M Tier 1, Illusion M Tier 2, and Illusion M Tier 3. Illusion M Tier 3 are also going to be in Firewall for Season 4. They can be competing on the PlayStation side of things, so I wish them all the luck. And they are going to they're going to be the highest rated uh, console team we have in the league right now. Obviously because X Tier 3 aren't in the league yet. So that's pretty cool, and I can't wait for them to get started. And then we have Illu uh, Illusion M Tier 2 and Tier 1. They're both still setting up and they will be getting into the leagues hopefully as soon as possible. So that's really, really cool. That's the console side of things. But when we talk about expansion, that's when Zed comes into it. Because Zed is the PC side of things, and that's where things get a little bit crazy. Back when I first announced this org, I appealed for people to be part of Zed, and we ended up having so much interest that we created a Tier 2 and a Tier 3 team. And... Yeah. A lot has changed since then, so we don't name them by tiers anymore because uh, PC leagues and PT PC competitions don't tend to use leagues. For Open Division, you can go into it at whatever stage you want. So our old Tier 3 team is in Open Division, as a matter of fact. And it's really, really cool. It's really cool to see them go up against these really good teams, and it's a massive amount of fun. But we don't call them tiers anymore, so let me go through this. First of all, we do have a tier 1, or a technically tier 1 team now. It's called Illusion Z Eclipse. That's where we kind of have the lowest level players in the PC side of things. So that's like gold, silver, uh, very low plat. But we don't tend to use SR as an absolute cutoff because of obviously not using SR brackets in PC competitions like console leagues do. So that's kind of what we took into account there. Then we have Illusion Z Luna. This is what the old tier 2 team used to be. So, Illusion Z Luna, they are pretty cool, not gonna lie, they've been getting on really well recently, and they are the team that entered the Flash Ops Experimental Tournament, uh, most recently. And they actually won their first match pretty comprehensively, and then had to go up against the, uh, the EU contenders team New Kings, which was, you know, an experience for a team that is Plat Diamond. Put it that way. But, it was an incredible experience to go up go up against the likes of Psycho and Lolshish, 
people like that. KSA, who's ex Overwatch League, both the Lotus and KSA are both ex Overwatch League. So that's an incredible experience for a team of that level. And that's what Open Division and experimental tournaments and Flash Ops tournaments offer teams. I think it's incredible and it's really cool. So, and in that tournament, as you will well know, there was a plenty of other teams. Paris Eternal were in that tournament. There was people like Raspberry Racers and Ex Oblivione and people like that. It's an incredible feeling to be talked about in those sorts of naming schemes, if you sort of mean. It's really weird. Anyway, Illusions of Luna. Then we have Illusions of Solar. This is the old tier 3 team, and this is the team that I'm going to call them the meme team of Illusions Z because they do nothing but meme. They really do. It's funny. They're a laugh. I love, I love Solar. I love Solar, really, and they're going to absolutely tear me apart for saying that in this video. Anyway, um, Solar are really, really cool, and Solar is like a a low master to diamond team and they have been they are the team that's in open division they are the team that have been competing first if you see what i mean with with the said side of things and they were the highest level team on pc that we had but we have decided to change that because we tend to expand quickly and we have had plans in a, in in the works for a while to go upwards of that team and now is the time to do that so I introduce you to, to you today, and the Orga will already know about this, Illusion Z Nova. Illusion Z Nova will be the last Z team for the time being. It will be the last Z team for the time being, but it will be the highest Z team. So this is a team that is going to touch on the doors of Masters, uh, Grand Masters, I should say. So this team is going to feature some promotions from Solar, if people wish to go up, but we're also going to be looking to fill a lot of those spots, and we'll get over to, we'll get over to that in a minute. But Illusion said Nova, it's going to be like a Masters to GM team, just before GM, technically. And Nova will be the highest level Z team there is. And that'll be really cool. And it'll still be based a lot like Solar and Luna and Eclipse. And what I love about this org is the fact that you can be promoted from Eclipse to Luna, to Luna to Solar, to Solar to Nova. If you keep climbing, you have that ability. You've just got to impress the coaches, right? And we have some blooming good coaches like i am stunned at the quality of coaches this org has i was never expecting to be able to be able to say the sort of coaches i have right now in this org it's incredible and again there's no better way to play overwatch that's and that's again another reason why we don't wholly and solely go off sr for z teens because well we all know ranked can be a bit of a pain in the backside and it can be a poor judge of players at times so we tend to judge them more off trial performance and scrim performance, and I think that gives us a better judge of exactly how good a team is. So Illusion of said Nova will be a, what we would call a tier 4 team if you're on console. So that's where that ends. But then we talk about big news, and this is big news, and how we rotate back to what I said at the start of this video. So, yes, Nova is where Zed stops, but it's not where PC stops. So I'm going to introduce you to Illusion Envision. Illusion Envision is going to be the GM team of Illusion. It's going to have a slight different branding. And the reason we intend to do this is because this is going to be a 4 to 4.3k team. So when we talk about those numbers, they are not quite contenders level, but they're nearing it. And it's going to be a team that most likely wants to grind. It's going to be a team that scrims. It's going to be a team that goes all in. And it's going to be structured very differently to the way in which Zed is structured. And therefore, they're going to have their own space as well, in terms of a server, to, to do their team stuff as well. They will be in Illusion Gaming as well, because we love a community. And that's the great thing about Illusion. I've been told many times about people, uh, from people, that the, the community in Illusion is fantastic. And that really warms my heart, I'm not going to lie. Illusion in Vision is an incredibly interesting team and you'll be able to see on the screen the branding now it's got different branding and everything and it's gonna have its own twitter and everything and this team is called envision for a reason because envision is the first step to a longer term goal and i'm not going to go into it in a massive amount in this video but it is something i'm going to i'm going to allude to because envision envisions a team of the future. A team that could push for the very highest accolade it could get on the PC side of things. And 
you should know what that is. Because that's contenders. So, there are plans in the works to create a team for Illusion that would have the aim of going to contenders. And Envision is the start of that process. It is not the end of that process. This process takes a long time. A long, long time. But it is the beginnings of that process. And I like to be transparent. So I want to tell you guys. And plus, I've been keeping this under wraps for over a month now. And it's eating away at me. And yeah. Anyway. Um, so that's going to be really cool. I'm not going to go into a massive amount about that top end, top end team. Because that is, there's so much in the air with that right now. But what I want to move on to now is recruitment. Because again, Illusion's recruiting. To be quite honest, I don't think Illusion ever stops recruiting at this point. Um, so, if you want a team, uh, I don't have any space on tier 2x. I don't have any space on tier 3x apart from an off tank. I think they have an off tank position. So, if you are diamond and above, then do get in contact with me. And I will pass you over to the captain, which I believe is Seal. Um, so, then we have tier 1x. They are recruiting, however. So, if you are below 2700 SR and are an Xbox player and wish to play in a team... That is non-toxic because you don't expect accept toxicity in illusion. That is a big, big no-no. Um, then please do get in contact with me. I will put you in contact with the coach of that team, which is that one guy. He's actually a player on X tier two, and I will put you in contact with the captain of that team, who is called Wolf, and she is a very lovely person as well. Then we have Illusion M. Illusion M is extensively recruiting across all of its tiers. So if you're anywhere up to 3700 SR, please. Do get in contact with me and I will put you in contact with the relevant captains of said teams and then we will get you in for a tryout etc anywhere up to 3700 SR and you will be Gucci and any of this you have any doubts there is a Mist of Illusion community discord server for the entire org where you can put an inquiry in for whatever team you wish. Then we come up to a really unique one that I actually meant to talk about earlier. Oopsie. Um, Illusion P. Illusion P is another venture we are starting up, and this is going to be, well, the final platform for now, unless the rumors about Overwatch Mobile are true. Um, this is the final platform for now, and this is Switch. There's obviously one platform that is eluded Illusion so far, and this is the Switch platform. And we do intend to make a Switch team. However, we do need players for said Switch team. So if you're a Switch player and you wish to play on a team, please do get in touch with me directly and then I can get you in and we can have a ma massively nice chat and try and get this all set up because Illusion P is taking a little bit longer because of the, obviously the Switch, uh, the Switch space is much less developed compared to other console leagues because obviously it's been around for less time. So you can't expect it to be around like that. Anyway, moving along to Z then because this is where things get complicated. So, if you're not a coach and you would like to coach a platinum and below team, then please get in touch because we are looking for a coach for Illusion Z Eclipse. So please get in touch with me. I will then put in put you in touch with uh, PC Management, who is Andine or Thoughtful or Yaladin. Uh, I probably not Yaladin because that's Yaladin tends to manage to hire up stuff, but. Um, I'll put you in touch with them and that'll be really really pog and you will get to meet all the players and coach them Which is really really cool and you'll be on a coach trial and then I'll put you in contact with my co owner Mary as well who handles coaching So that's all good Then we come up to the Illusion Z Luna um, Illusion Z Luna not looking for too much right now We have actually just fin uh, filled the coaching position for Luna So they are however looking for the projectile DPS backup um, So if you're interested in playing projectile DPS for a plat stroke diamond team ish then please do get in touch i will then put you in contact with the captain of that team who is called baz and also the manager of that team who is thoughtful and then we will see about getting your trial for that team then we come on to illusion said solar illusion said solar obviously diamond to masters ish ish we always say ish when it comes to said hit scan dps role we are looking for players for that we are also looking for a main support for that team so if you are one of those people who can fill that position but then please get in touch with me then i will put you in touch with their coach yaladin or 
and Dean, who's PC management, and then they will get you in for a tryout for that team. That team has a massively good atmosphere. You will have nothing but fun in Solar. I can say that for sure, because I have fun with Solar, and I'm not even on the Blumen team. Anyway, Illusion said Nova. This is where things spice up because it's a relatively new team. They are looking for much more in terms of position filling. So. We are looking for an off-tank for Illusion Z Nova. This is obviously going to be a Masters to 4k off-tank. If you're interested in that, please do get in touch with me again, or in the midst of Illusion Discord server, or Twitter, because there's Twitter DMs as well, etc. All of these, just get in contact by social media. That's probably the best way to say it, isn't it? I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. Then we have a main support role to be filled at Nova as well. Main support, funny fact, is really hard to fill for some reason, because I don't know. Main supports. Apparently no one wants to play main supports. Who would have thought that? I thought main tank was the most annoying role in the whole org. Anyway, in that game, not the org. Um, so, then we come to Illusion Envision. Illusion Envision is a brand new, new brand, new sheet of paper. Not filled. There are no positions of record, at time of recording, there are no positions filled on Illusion Envision. So, if you're a main tank, off tank, uh, hit scan DPS, projectile, or your main spot, or your reflex support, or we'll get onto that in a minute. Then, and your GM level, GM level, so 4K and above, get in touch. You could become part of that elite level Overwatch team for Illusion Gaming, and that will be honestly amazing. You will be, and you will be an inaugural player for that team. It's incredible, and. Yeah, the sky's the limit for that team. Also, we are looking for a coach for that team. Now, obviously a coach at that level is not easy to find. Don't get me wrong. However, now I get to talk to you about the coaching we already have. We have a coach that has experienced scrimming contenders. We actually have... I'm going to flex on you. We actually have an, uh, an, an, an ex-contenders player um, who was playing as soon as uh, a month and a half ago in contenders at contenders level anyway yeah uh, he's a coach for Zed right now and uh he's also i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna elude i'm not gonna tell you who it is but i'm gonna say he's very 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 high on the european top 500 ladder right now and he's a name you will know if you've been around contenders for long enough I'm not going to say any more, because I'll give it away. You'll have to do your research. And if you ask me in the comments, I'm not going to tell you. Sorry. You're going to have to find out. Anyway, um, I love teasing. I don't know whether anyone's noticed that, but that is the lowdown on the entirety of Illusion right now. Massive. You've got three Xbox teams. You've got three PS4 teams slash PS5. Then you've got one Switch team coming up. That makes a grand total of seven console teams. Then... We can add the three existing Z teams. Oh, that makes 10. Then we come up to Nova, 11. And then we come up to Vision, 12. Yes. It is stacked. Absolutely stacked to the hilts. And I cannot believe we are where we are. It is astonishing. And it is thanks to the support that you guys have shown. So I can't thank you enough for that. But I am going to leave it here for this one. So if you are interested in any of the roles that are available in Illusion, please do get in touch with me or the org in its capacity on social media so social media for illusion gaming for illusion x for illusion m for illusion z for illusion p and illusion vision are all in the description below down in the description below will also be linked the community server for illusion gaming where you can also find categories for every single team where you can put an, an inquiry in the format in which it says so you can tell us your SR, your role and everything and then someone from Illusion will see it and then they will come along and they will DM you and they'll be saying hey you look pretty good you want to try out and that'll be that and then there's obviously me as well through YouTube and you know I'm on Discord as well obviously through my server so you can always get in contact with me there and yes if you wondered, I do run every single Illusion Twitter, and yes, I do talk to myself when replying to myself on those Twitters, and yes, it's sad. Yes, I know. Anyway, that's enough of that. 
Tomorrow we'll be back to the Overwatch League roundups and team previews. Um, who is it next after New York? I think it's a Paris. Is it Paris or Philadelphia? One or the other. I can't count. It's Paris. Alphabetical order. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. That's going to be a super interesting video tomorrow. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to give a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.